Blunted Metal Work, October 29, 2021. After all the test magnet cut, they chopped a 64 rock well at 20 degrees per side. The edge seemed to be uh, too tough. In other words, it's not, there's not enough strength to withstand. Um, I mean, when you have a very sharp apex, the tendency to collapse. Anyway, so I have to verify, you know, this blade here. That magnet cut is 64 and a half rock well. So, I mean, the edge, this bevel is a little convex, but uh, right now this edge is at the V 15 degrees per side using Edge Pro. It's not, you know, super well sharpened, but uh, but it will uh, slice from paper good enough and I'm going to do you know, the sanity check I mean if it couldn't <laughs> that doesn't hold that means it's not enough strength even that 64 and a half rock well then well I got a lot of these magna cut plays going to go into uh, to be resequent or something with it I'm going to cut uh, just a rub on uh, beef rib bone back in here Shouldn't be anything, but again, I mean, contact to the bone is always hard because I mean, the very thin apex will have to do. I mean, it will, uh, and I think that's that I test with bamboo. I, mean, I, I test the other blade at 10 degrees per side and see what before with this. So, but anyway, this this is. 15 degrees per side, so they were substantially thicker. Hmm. Get <laughs> the wood not hard enough, so they got pressed into it. getting harder and harder to cut. Let me give you the at an angle. Anyway that was sufficient. I mean, a 15 degree per side it should be strong enough. The key is I mean my sick one might think say too tough. But uh, even a 64 and a half rock well so now with this edge, I mean, it's still sharp and there's a lot of pressure on it. Anyway, um, if I remember, I did some kind of little chopping. And the tips is substantial, I mean, so. This guy a wedge. Okay, no problem, right? And I think they will let me do the electrical cord here. I use near the front here.
I mean, definitely I see a little uh, either it's happening or not, but if anything, I mean, of course, I mean, this edge is 1200 grit diamond. It's actually quite fine. Water stone, it actually make the edge quite fine. And yeah, there's a tiny roll. Pork rib bone. This will be the most brutal among the tests here, these tests. So, I mean, you this section. Really easy when you see the edge have trouble because it won't dig, and this thing definitely digging. So, I can see some um, edge rolling that would on this area. I'm going to take a close up picture of that. I mean, even for the other one, there you go. There's definitely some cut. Something here. Probably from cutting the electrical or the, these things. Anyway, so as far as I mean you using a knife, I mean asking do do these tests unreasonable. So but anyway, um sixty four and a half rock well, that means wear resistant going to be very good. And uh, I think it, Plenty top. We'll take a picture of the the, the worst damage somewhere right here. Well, definitely magna cut uh, a 64 and a half rock where plenty top. They have deformation and where the most rough, I mean biggest deformation is where you can see some of the bone fragments still in here. And uh, well, this this angle here, I mean, pretty confident that also with the toughness. The I mean, this blade can take quite a bit of uh, yeah. abuse. Um, that's why you can see it in the chopping or you know, and digging. However, I mean, if you look at the objective-wise, I mean, to fix this edge, I have to grind uh, this far. And now for the some you know, the edge that is, uh, in other words. Uh, 10 degree per, degree per side, which is about you know, one third more thinner edge of the Rex 121 and 695 work well here. So, the, the, even though the damage, I mean, there's some deformation, but here the fracture. However, the magnitude wise, well, this is a very thin right here because at 10 degree per side. So, and actually, the thickness of at this point actually thinner than the thickness of uh, right here. So anyway, um, for this edge would slide paper without uh, in terms of hiccup. And as you can see in the video, this area here did cause a little hesitation. But however, again, I mean, you if you're going to use, I mean, if you're going to weigh the bone, and actually for this edge, or this edge, and it's sharp, and the edge, should, you keep rolling up the edge because you scoop out the bone, and that will be very hard for anything that's sharp, because again, the sharper it is, the thinner it is, when you put lateral uh, force on it, yes, it will do some damage. And again, the thickness of the uh, the wedge, even the apex, that mean then therefore the, the the deformation and also the deflection going to be less, and then uh, for every thin one. Anyway, I mean I see that uh, for in terms of um, uh, my cut kind of sixty four and a half, the level of toughness is uh, it totally uh, within uh, again usability is high. And uh, well, I would like to be stronger. I mean, because I can give up some of the toughness. And if it was pushing really hard, then it would fracture. That would be okay. But again, 
depend on whether you do a lot of you know, the whole blade or digging or do something else. The, the, um, the higher the plasticity or so some uh, ductility, then you will have more of a system-wide or global toughness. While for this uh, REC 121 here, you can see the local or uh, narrow range of, of uh, plasticity. Thanks for watching.